Thanks for turning on Breakfast Television on City. Switching gears a tiny bit here from the stampede between the orange wave that swept Alberta in May and recent polls declaring him the front runner in our looming federal election. It's a pretty heady time right now to be federal NDP leader Tom Mulcair. He's here to celebrate Stampede, of course, and to meet with the good people of Calgary. First on his agenda, though, today at least, is stopping by the Breakfast Television studio for a chat. Good morning, Mr. Mulcair. Good Thank morning, you for Jay. coming in. Uh, we'll talk about your Stampede plans in a sec. Um, I want to ask you, though, and this is the first question that popped into my head. We had a big sweeping change yes. of uh, politics here in the province of Alberta. Rachel Notley, you met with her recently. Um, is this buoying your chances for the upcoming federal election, do you think? I think it's really helpful because people realize now that the party is in that position where we can break through. Back in 2011, prior to the federal general election, we were doing well in Quebec, but everybody said we could never break through and get a bunch of seats. We did that. Yeah. And recently in Alberta, you could have probably made a pretty big bet and made a lot of money if you got somebody to bet with you because nobody thought we would form a strong majority NDP government in Alberta. But that's been done by Rachel Notley and her incredible team. Now we're concentrating on the October vote. People are looking at us differently. They want change. That's what we hear from coast to coast. And they see that the NDP can bring positive change. Uh, is it doubly significant for you as well because this is where the Prime Minister's home riding is? I mean, right here? Sure. <laughs> and one of the biggest smiles on my face the day after uh, the vote when Rachel Notley was elected Premier of Alberta, of course, was to find out that we now had NDP representation right in Stephen Harper's federal riding. That was a good sign for the future as well. Uh, polls are showing you guys ahead right now. Um, uh, you're seeing more and more of the so-called attack ads coming out. Sure. There's one explicitly that's been online recently. I don't know when it was, but within the last week or so, targeting you. Yep. Is this par for the course for you? You think this is just going to come? We're going to see more and more of this? Or? I think that's the exact right yeah. expression. It is par for the course, but it's also a sign that we must be doing something right yeah. uh, when our adversaries start attacking us like that. That's not my way of doing politics. You're not going to see me uh, attacking the others that way. It is something I learned from Jack Layton. Try to put up an idea that's positive, clean for the future, how we can make it a better place for our children and our grandchildren. I am going to be at the Stampede with my kids, who are adults, of course, and their children, my grandchildren, and I couldn't be happier uh, at the place where, we in, where we're in right now in the NDP, saying we can grow the economy and protect the environment. We can and have to protect uh, our safety from terrorism, but we have to do that while respecting our rights and freedoms. That's the type of idea that the NDP has. A story that's resurfaced, and I'm wondering if this is along the same tack with par for the course. Uh, McLean's had it a couple of years ago, came up before you, in talks with the Prime Minister's office to be some sort of consultant role and yep. kind of holding out for more money and that type of thing. Uh, set the record straight and your analysis of it. The well, timing wise. It, it is interesting. It's when I had quit uh, provincial politics. Yeah. I had been the Minister of the Environment. I quit cabinet. I had been asked to sign an order in council that would have transferred land in a provincial park to private developers. Mm -hmm. I had refused to do that. And yeah, I was approached by the Conservatives and frankly by all Federalist parties. And I went with Jack Layton's NDP because that was closest to my values. Don't forget, at the time, the NDP Ted had never won a single seat in a federal general election in its whole history in Quebec. And I took up the challenge of going with that approach, saying we can do things right on the environment, on social issues, on the economy, do things differently. It was a big challenge. I took up that challenge with Jack, and guess what? That's where we are today. So, yeah, the other parties have a, a, it's a bit hard for them. If the only attack they have against me is that they tried to court me, then it's not much of an <laughs> attack, is it? But uh, right now, we're, we're taking that positive vision forward for Canada. Switching gears to the Stampede, uh, you, you have a Calgary connection, you have family that lives yeah. in kind of the West Hillhurst side of the city. Um, your whole family's here, you're saying. Your kids, your grandkids, they're going to be all stampeding it 